Number 73. Complete the following Lua structure by adding bonds, not atoms, and then indicate the longest bond. And then we have this big mess over here. So we have to fill in the bonds for this compound. So there's tons of Lua structures on this channel just designated to showing you how to draw Lua structures. If you do need more guidance, you could always go there to take it step by step. Now there's one thing um, that there are some rules that will help you along the way. One of the rules is that whenever you have a hydrogen atom, they only can have one bond. So hydrogens will never have double bonds or triple bonds. So I have a hydrogen here and it's going to be bound with this carbon. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in all the single bonds because that's the max that hydrogen can have. So I know that this has a single bond, a single bond, and a single bond because it's all bound with hydrogens. And then I have a hydrogen here, so it's got to be bound to this carbon. It can't be bound to this hydrogen because then this hydrogen has two bonds. So you always got to go back to the, we call it the backbone. The backbone, especially in organic chemistry, is always the carbon chain. We have another bond here. And then I'm just going to go over here with these hydrogens. This one's bound here. This one's bound to this one. And this one is here. Now remember, carbon wants to have the octet. It wants to have a total of four bonds to make it neutral. Now this carbon has one, two, three bonds. That's six electrons. So what type of bond is going to be here? It can only have a max of four. So it's got three already, so it's going to be a single bond. There's the fourth bond. Now we do the same thing with this carbon. Okay, well how many bonds does this one have? Well, it's got the one, two, three. So we know that this carbon to carbon connection has to be a single bond. Let's go now to this side. I'm, I'm skipping around here because I like to uh, figure out, you know, the pieces of the puzzle that I know the most of. So since I'm kind of, you know, stuck in between here, maybe I'll work on this side because I at least know about the single bonds with the hydrogen. So now let's see, I have two bonds, one, two, and I know that this carbon is then going to be bound with this carbon. Now remember, carbon wants a max of four bonds. So if I draw one, it's going to be three. So I need to add one more. That's the total of the four bonds. So now this carbon has one, two, three, four. Now let's keep going. This carbon has the two bonds here. It's got one more from this hydrogen, so that's a total of three, max of four. So that means that this has to be a single bond. And now finally we're going to bridge the gap. This carbon has one bond. It's got to have a max of four. So if I add one, that's two bonds. One more is three total bonds, and another one is four. And then let's just see if this makes sense for the other one. This carbon has one bond, two, three, four. Yay, we did it. So the first part is done. We drew the Lua structure. Now we have to figure out which one is the longest bond. Now this comes down to whether we're dealing with a single bond versus a double bond versus a triple bond. Now, just know that as you're adding bonds, you are, you know, uh, creating more energy in which it's going to be harder to break that certain bond. So a, a CC triple bond has three bonds that it has to break in order to, you know, alleviate the carbon from the other one. But then a single bond only needs just one bond to break. So in terms of single, double, and triple, the triple bonds are always the strongest bonds. The single bond is the weakest out of, you know, the pair between double, single, and triple. So we're not really uh, worrying about, you know, whose atoms are who. We're saying that if we're keeping the atoms the same, 
A single one would be the weakest, then comes the double, and then comes the triple. But just know that if you have, like, you know, in, 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 in general, if you have a really, really strong bond with someone, whether it's a family member or a partner or a best friend, right, um, you guys are super tight. You guys are so close to each other, right? So a strong bond means tightness. Super, super, super close. So the strongest bond is also going to be the shortest bond because that indicates tightness. The weakest bond, eh, you guys aren't really as tight as somebody, you know, who has a, a tighter relationship. So a weakest bond would be the longest bond. So as of right now, since we want the, to find the longest bond, we're looking for those C single bonds. So it's obviously not the triple bond. The triple bond actually would be the shortest bond because it's the strongest. It's not the double bond. It's one of these single bonds. But now the question comes into, well, which one? Is it CH or is it CC? Because now you have two different CC single bonds. How am I going to differentiate between which one is longer? Well, this comes from atomic radius. And if I just quickly draw the trend here, we'll say atomic radius. So this is the size of your atom. Just know that as you go from left to right, you are decreasing. Uh, yes, you are. You are decreasing in atomic radius, but as you go up to, you know, from up to down, you are increasing in atomic radius. The only exception to this rule is hydrogen. Hydrogen, since it only has one electron, it is the smallest. It is super, super, super small. It's only got one, um, you know, electron. So between CH and CC, if we draw a arbitrary circle for carbon, right? And for this one, you have two carbons that are being bound to each other. For the hydrogen, it is only a small little dot. Now, a atomic radius is from center to center. So it would be this distance and then this distance. Now, the, the general thing here is that if you have larger atoms, maybe I'll put this down here. If you have larger atoms in the bond, your bond will be longer because it just takes a, a, a longer time or, you know, a longer distance to get to the core of that other element. And if I take this line and I put it over the C single bond, as you can see, it is a little shorter. So out of these two single bond ones, the CH is shorter, mainly because hydrogen is small. And this one is the larger one out of the two because the carbon is big, bigger. So which one is the longest bond? It is the C single bond H. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> C single bond C. And that is the final answer. As I try to color, there we go. Okie dokie. What'd you think? I hope this helped you out. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. And I look forward to helping you in future lessons. We also have physics and math videos on the channel at the moment with more subjects in the future. So go check it out. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.